slide. This kind of like the Louis Vuitton ones I had that sneak eight. Man, I'm pumped to get these. I was needing some. What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Rome. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? Today, I got four boxes for us to bust open. I've been patiently waiting on some new designer flip-flops to come in. I think it's gonna be in this stack. If not, they're close. I, uh, I've had, you know, numerous slides. Um, I've sold a bunch of them. I've kept some, I've hooked some buddies up with some, and then I had my dog eat one pair, but somehow I've managed to work myself down to one pair of sandals. So I'm trying to change that. If you saw, I got some Yeezy slides in, um, and now I'm kind of getting some more, gonna try to get some Dior and Amiri slides, which might be in these boxes right here. If you're new, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I do have a pretty decently new one. Uh, the old one was stricken down by the social media overlords. Um, I assume someone probably reported it or something like that. So just make sure you're following me over there. That's a great place to get in contact with me if you have any questions or if you're after any specific items, I can help you out with that. I would love to send you on the right direction to saving some money. And I don't want you to waste money. I want you to get the good quality from the start. Um, I've kind of already done the hard work and trial and error process for you. So really all you got to do is just kind of click on the link, shoot them your money, wait about two weeks, and you're going to be on your way to unboxing some Dior boxes just like this one. But let's pop this thing open and see what is in here. Off the rip, looks like we're starting with a bag. And there's a little card that flew out. Okay, and let's check this puppy out. Off the rip, it has the Dior Alix clip, which is super sick, something that I was wanting on the bag. Get rid of some of this plastic that's sewn in here, it seems like. Damn. By the way, I don't have to do it later. Have to get some tweezers to get this piece out it's wedged in there pretty good but let's uh finish opening this bad boy and then i'm gonna show it off to you damn this is nice <laughs> the leather on here is really nice too and it's pretty lightweight so has that new kind of cd pattern going on um i'm a really big fan of this pattern i skateboarded for a long time and one of the skaters I always looked up to was Dustin Dolan. And his logo is a DD kind of reverse, kind of just like that. So that's what that reminds me of. He also skated for Volcom for a long time, which is one of my favorite companies. Um, seems like most times companies that start with a V end up being successful. So like if you're on the verge of starting a company, use like a V or an X. And for some reason, it seems to work like magic. But Volcom's been around like since the mid 90s, I think, if not earlier than that. Um, so like I said, it comes with this Alix clip, which is just like a heavy duty clip and it feeds right in. I say that feeds right in and you're going to hear that click. And then to release it, you just hit the little levers and it pulls right out. But whenever it's together, it's got that Christian Dior right there. And then it also has a CD, um, vertically or horizontally, I mean, on the, actual clasp itself that comes together. So that C and D is gonna be on the male piece of the clasp. And then it's gonna feed right into that other side. But let's, uh, let's throw this bad boy on. See what we're working with here. Yeah, super gas. So this is the saddle bag shape. They do have the oblique pattern. I've done lots of these in the past. I haven't done one in a long time. Gonna have that one singular zipper right here, and then it has a magnetic folding clasp. Let's see if there's any pockets on the inside. The leather on here is, is what's kinda what I'm impressed with. The zipper performing flawlessly also. That's a big thing. You don't wanna get some of these items and the zipper is ass. The dude come, uh, the bag does come completely stuffed, so you don't have to worry about it getting creases and stuff like that. So once I'm in here, let's see what kind of pockets we got. Man, I think it's just one singular compartment in here. It's not, it doesn't have any pockets. 
no zippers or anything. So yeah, you're just gonna get one big pocket, big enough for, you know, your phone, maybe a notebook. Um, these aren't the biggest bags, but for a daily carry, they can get the job done pretty, pretty flawlessly. And nonetheless, I mean, just aesthetically, the bag looks really, really good. The strap does say Christian Dior on it as well. And then on the back side, you're just going to get more of that CD oblique print. So super sick. Let's hang this bad boy up right here. And let's keep her moving. I will have all of this stuff posted over on Instagram with the seller tag also. So if you don't think you get the best look or if you're wanting some of this stuff for yourself, just reach out to me over there and I will send you in the right direction. Looks like we got a second Dior box. Ooh, there's two pairs in here. So two pairs of Dior. 45 yeah let's start with this one get your dust bag all of this stuff comes beautifully packaged as well oh yeah these are sick so i'm a really big fan of like any reptile print gator snake alligator crocodile you name it if it has scales i like it and that's exactly what we have right here is a Christian Dior with some alligator and it's kind of a gladiator style kind of has that two thick straps feeding the middle nothing going on um, between the toes I'm not really a big between the toe guy um, and then a nice firm sturdy sole on here um, kind of a it's a very smooth material not quite suede but it's not like like the quicksilver or like the memory foam slides by any means but going to be super comfy also get a dior oblique print there on the back with a dior right there in the center does have a little bit of a heel on here nothing major though um super excited to get these in i really really liked the style of these like i said i have one pair left and it's the Hermes Gator Izmirs, which kind of looks very similar to this. It makes an H and then it has that Gator print, but um, Christian Dior kind of making their own spin of them. And let's see what's in this other box. You get another dust bag right here, wrapped the same way. Tissue pepper protecting everything. Okay, okay. And then this is an all leather slide this kind of like the louis vuitton ones i had that sneak eight man i'm pumped to get these i was needing some and it's like i hate having only one of something because it's like if it breaks your sol until you can get more in but just having stuff on hand um is really really nice so this one has a really comfy leather sole um has leather straps up here that say dior on them I'm trying to hit it in the light so you can see it just an all black slide and then kind of a more textured bottom on here it has a star does it say yeah it says dior right here but pretty thick especially compared to this one you can kind of see the thickness level difference so um this one does have a little bit of a weight to it but nonetheless um i'm sure these are going to be super duper comfy nothing in the middle again just those two double straps keeping it strapped down to your foot um, dior also made a collaboration with birkenstock and it has some of this alix clips for like the birkenstock uh, clip so i'm going to try my hardest to get a pair of those i really want the black ones and then they have a beige colorway that i want as well so i'm going to try to get my hands on those where did i put the scissors oh i think i just heard them All right, let's keep her rolling. So this is actually gonna be a five item banger. We love a good haul video, don't we? Um, these two sandals in the bag are all from the same spot. Like I said, I'll have it tagged over on Instagram. Just make sure you're following me over there. That's the main place where I can source most stuff. And like I said, it has direct messaging. So if you have any questions, you can just reach out to me. I have my phone on me the majority of the day. So 
I'm usually getting back with you pretty quick. I try to clear my inbox a few times a day. Um, sometimes, like if you follow me, it takes a while before the message will appear in my request. So if you don't think I'm getting back with you, I am. Just give me a little bit of time. Instagram like makes it load, especially if there's like a bunch of them. It'll only give me so many at a time until I clear them, and then it'll give me the ones that were sent later. I'm not sure if that's just like an app feature or what, but I recognize this box. 1985 Air Jordan 1. Yeah, so this is going to be the uh, the trophy room. Comes right there on the lid. But unlike the original trophy room, this is the trophy room low. And as you see, it's got that nice gliss and gloss on there looking really, really sick. Michael Jordan signature on the back. And then you got that black leather heel with the black glossy Air Jordan logo looking really good right there. Pretty sick. So if you weren't a fan of the highs, you want to rock the lows, they are available now. I will have these tagged over on Instagram as well. Um, you're going to get a change of laces with these. Three changes, actually. You get a red, white, and a blue. So can feed whatever. And then it comes stocked already with a white lace. This blue lace says rumor has it on it, so that's pretty cool. Red lace doesn't have anything. White lace is also blank. And then on the inserts on here, you get that little Air Jordan logo, and it just says trophy room on it. Yeah, these were just, just made. It says uh, July 17th of 23 through August 2nd of 2023. So I'm not sure if Jordan is actually gonna end up dropping these. I'm gonna have to do some more research. Um, but if you want the lows, they're definitely available. This one says pair 605 of 12,000 and then February 10th, 1985 on the right shoe, which is up there in the tongue. Um, see that little black strip under the red tag on the tongue. So I assume that's probably the original date that the Jordan 1 Chicago dropped February 10th. Um, and then from there, it's, you know, created the legacy of the Jordan shoes that we have now. But nonetheless, very, very sick shoe. I do love the red colorway Jordan 1. Some of my favorites. Um, got a few behind me. Got the Spider-Man's. Got the OG Chicago's right here. Got the Satin Snakes right here. So um, anytime they toss that red toe on there, I kind of got to grab it. Just uh, looks really good aesthetically, especially with some like light wash blue jeans. Can't really go wrong. Kind of running out of space here, but that's okay. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. I want to keep doing this forever and ever. So with your guys' support, that is going to be possible. And hopefully everyone saves some money, man. I do got lots of stuff for sale as well, so that's another good reason to be following me over on my Instagram if you ever want to get your hands on some items and not have to wait the two weeks for them to come to China, then I can get you hooked up over there on my Instagram. Let's get this thing cut. Looks like a Jordan box here. I think this might be... Got a size nine. Ooh, bread fours. One of the most popular ones there is. These are gonna be from William. He's the dog, he can hook it up with a lot of stuff. Nike Air on the back, and just your classic Jordan 4 bread silhouette. Nice gray sole feeding into that red and white. And it's going to be brown nubuck composing pretty much the whole shoe, which is kind of a suede -ish material. Um, typically with that, I tell people not to try to get it wet. So if it's raining, bust out one of your leather kicks. If it's a nice pretty day, dry outside, then of course rock all the suede you want. Maybe even some corduroy pants to go with it if you're feeling real ballsy. But um, can't really go wrong with the bread four man. Excellent shoe, super classic. Um, I think it was probably this shoe, infrared six, 
and then the Paranorma foam posits. Those are some of the first like shoes I ever remember seeing and being like, dang, that's a really cool shoe. Um, I kind of want those for myself. And now here we are in 2023 and I've went overboard, but that's okay because I've saved a lot of money doing this and hopefully I can save you some money too. So I'm Jeff Rowe. Thanks for tuning in today. It's been a great video busting out two pairs of Sandies, two pairs of J's, and can't forget this Dior saddle bag with that Alix clip, super, super sick. All this stuff will be posted over to my Instagram. So like I said, if you don't feel like you got the best look, go over there, check out the portrait photos, check out the reel, drop some likes, say, what's up, Jeff, how you doing? Um, shoot me a message on the stuff that you want, and I'll be back soon when I got some more stuff for you.